Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all having a great and wonderful day. Well, what we have here is somebody that is the epitome of evil. The person that doesn't understand what the word fascism is and is pretty much labeling millions upon millions of Americans that are, uh, that are fascists somehow. And no, I'm not actually talking about, um the Republicans, because obviously, you, if, once you see this person, you'll know what I'm talking about, that you'll automatically think, oh, they mean Republicans. No, they mean every single um, American. Regardless whether they're Democrat or Republican, she means every single American. And what I mean by this is this. Joy Reid says wanting to have children is part of a nationalistic drive toward fascism. You heard that right. Heard that right. This woman here is not only a hypocrite, but probably the evil person, evilest person that I know of. This person is not a good person. This person is not a kind person. This person is hateful. This person is racist. This person is a terrible human being. And the reason why I say this is because normally when you don't want children, you uh, it is a huge issue. What we have here is from Robbie Starbuck. Bad news, guys. The new sign you're a fascist just dropped. If you want to have more babies, then you might just be a fascist, according to NBC's Joy Reid. Absolutely insane. They hate family? True. They hate faith? True. And they hate free speech? Very true. Never forget that. This is what Joy Reid has to say. I do believe that this election is a litmus test for American tolerance for fascism. The elements of fascism uh, are rooted in this nationalistic drive for more babies for the state, for a strong man driven uh, nation, um, and a deep sort of state based religiosity. So I do believe we have a media problem and we do have some of our media that is leading people toward fascism. The question of America has become too soft and feminine. Um, I think that is a, it's a fascist litmus test. Um, so this question of whether the society is too soft and feminine, um, it was alarming to me that a majority of Hispanic pro uh, Protestants agree, but that's not shocking. The immigrants are poisoning the blood of the country. This is one of the most terrifying um, yeah. things that you've heard a presidential candidate say because it is straight out of Mein Kampf. Twenty-three percent of Jewish respondents agree with that because that's straight out Nazi talk. Woman is vile. Now I'm going to show you guys again one more time on what this woman said. Do you believe that this election is a litmus test for American tolerance for fascism? The elements of fascism uh, are rooted in this nationalistic drive for more babies for the state, for a strong man driven uh, nation. Uh She's saying that having more babies, it, wanting to have more babies, or just having babies in general is fascism. And what we mean by this is that exploring the life of the, of, and legacy of Joy Reid's children. And uh, Joy Reid has this. Nasir Reid, Jamar Reid, and Amara Reid. These are her children. Okay? So what she's saying is, is there's only two things that you can take away from this, guys. There are only two things you can take away. Either she didn't really want these children at all. Right? She didn't really want these children at all. Or that uh, she's being a hypocrite and she uh, actually had children. So it's only it's only a problem for you having children, but for her, it's not a problem for having children. That's pretty much what she's putting out the limelight here. And let me put this very, uh, very, 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 very bloody clear here. When she says that having children is part of naturally to drive toward fascism, it's pretty much saying that Democrats, Republicans, every walk and creed, regardless of race or whatever, is that you're a fascist for wanting to have kids. So, go look to your friend next to you. Does he have a children? He's a fascist. Go look to your sister. Does she have kids? She's a fascist. Go look to any member of your family that has children. She's a fa They're fascists, according to Joy Reid. This is the type of insanity and hate and what we call complete evil is what this person impossifies, right? This person She is the worst human that I have ever witnessed. Now, 
I'm not going to say that I, that not wanting to have children, you're a bad person. I'm not going to say that because I think everybody has their own reason for not wanting to have children. I'm also one of those people in the limelight that, uh, that just doesn't want to have children. At least currently, I do not. Um, I don't think if you're a bad person, if you don't want children, I don't think you are an amazing person for not have, wanting to have children. But at the same time, calling somebody for wanting to have children is fascism. And another thing to add in, in this too, right? This is also saying... That uh, when you're when you are below the birth rate, right, or read the or re reproduction rate, or what have you, that means you're wanting society to collapse. Your country dies because if you don't have enough kids or enough people to replenish the people that you have in society, your country dies. That's that's it. There is no more country. There is no nothing. And unless she really wants this, which might be a deep rooted thing. She may also want the ability to where there's less people, it's easier for the government to control you. So, that being said, either she wants the country to completely die and not be a country anymore, or she wants the ability for the, for the government to have more control over its citizens. Either way, it's not a good look. So, this woman is vile, this woman is disgusting, and I think everybody should start understanding here on how bad the Democratic Party is, how anti-family they are, how hateful they are, and they just really just want society to fall in general. Because if that wasn't the case, why would Joy Reid from MSNBC saying that having kids is fascism? That's insanity. You just call your own party, your own people that have kids. Every Democrat, every politician that has kids or wants kids is a fascist. That's insane. That's lunacy. And this is what we're dealing with here. This racism. It's completely absurd. It's complete insanity. And I can't believe people still watch this insane woman. It isn't crazy. All right, guys. That's it for the video. Let's guys share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease. The social media.